The market truly never ceases to amaze me. It seems every time I get the hang of it, everything starts going really well, the money starts coming really easily, and I've got it all figured out. The market changes the game. I need to make the adjustments to go from being unprofitable back to profitable again. If you're someone that watched my last challenge, you know that it didn't end well when I thought the challenge was gonna be the easiest thing. And that's because once again, they changed up the market and the strategy that was working no longer worked. Since the failure of that challenge, I have been able to make adjustments, find a strategy that I consider to be easy to follow, and has really been working for me. A strategy that's minimal stress, something I don't need to watch the market too heavily for. It allows me more time and more freedom, which is ultimately why I got into trading. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing that strategy with you. But real quick, before I share the strategy with you, I just want to take this time to say I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. We're gonna hop in, take a look at the chart so I can show you kind of what I know has been killing me in options trading. Then we'll go in and take a look at the adjustments that I've made. All right, so here we are. We are in the TradingView platform and I wanna, here, let's drop down to the one hour. And also, here, one second. All right, so right here, you'll notice that I have my pre-market and post-market highlighted and everything that you see in white are going to be regular trading hours so actually let's back out to the 15 minute chart and i want to show you how the market's been throwing me for a loop if you know me i love or loved to trade uh, zero day to expiration contracts there may be a time when it comes back but right now uh, i don't love doing that for this reason right here if we look at how the spy trades on the day spy comes out we have 30 minutes of just trading in a range then we have a violent sell-off and it sells off then it comes back up then it sells off a little bit and it's really difficult to really hop in and find the momentum or at least for me whenever i was like okay let me get in a trade the way that i trade i haven't seen any clear signals on the lower time frame. Hey, this is the time to get in a trade. And whenever I do see those clear signals, they will put it sideways in a range like this. When the contracts are about to expire, they'll just pin them in a range to the point where you're not really going to profit much off of them. You need to take your profits right away. Or as soon as you get in, say I get in a put about right here, they ran it back up before bringing it back down. And just because it's so late in the day, your contract has already lost so much value. And that just continuously happens. Like you come down, you come up during it coming up right here. It's losing the value of time. It's losing the data. It's really burning the contract. And then you'll get one of these, which would be a nice movement, but there's not really a clean time to get in, a clean, clear time to get in. The market has been good with consolidating just long enough to let the contract sit there and lose value. And really, all these plays have been a gamble. What has my solution to this been? My solution to this has been slowing down my trade. So if we take a look, I have gone from the one hour time frame to now trading on the four hour. So I just want to show you really fast. All right, so here, I'm going to get rid of these, but just know that a lot of this happened after hours. That's personally hard for me to look at, so I can't just stare at that all day. But I've just been trading simple supply and demand, and pretty much how it's been working is the market makers like to make the market moves whenever everyone is sold out of their contracts and less people can profit from it. So because of that, I have started getting more time on my contracts. All right, so I've found the sweet spot to be about two weeks out for the contracts I'm getting. Buy them out of the money. They get closer to the money. They still have the chance to get more valuable. And as they get further away from the money or as they head towards my stop loss, I don't lose as much. So here are two of the past trades I took. So just the past two days. So I took this trade. I bought in right here on this wick. Let me drop down to the one hour. So I bought in right here, if we were actually to follow this trade, I bought in right here. All this happened after hours. 
And then I bought in right here, and I think I actually sold out. I think I actually sold out right here. Uh, this was this was the first candle of the next day. So right here in this trade, I had to swing this trade overnight, but I got in, rode sideways, didn't have anything to worry about, and then I was able to take profits. And then actually once it came and ran up, because if we drop down to a lower time frame, just want to show you. So let's say I took profit right here. This reversed and came around, and I enter right here. So once again, came in here into the supply zone, sold off, and I just chilled in it all day. I was able to chill in this trade care fee, and I actually took profit just before market close, about right here, just as it came over here. Actually, it was probably about right here so i took profit about right here and of course what happens we're still in pre-market as i'm making this video the market actually rips down even more into pre-market into the next little demand zone i have right here so this is what has been working for me it's really been nice and easy with an account size of around a thousand dollars i've been picking up around 150 dollars a day just trading the ranges on the spy i don't take profit every day but if i had to average it out for the week for the past couple weeks i've been using this strategy i've been averaging 400 to 500 dollars a week just trading this strategy slowing things down I've, I've been able to focus on other things not watch the market as closely really just set my alerts and let the market do its thing and i see profit at open i take the profit and I don't really worry when I have to swing. So it's actually really nice. For those of you interested in seeing all these trades live when I post them, be sure to join the Discord. If you sign up for the Discord, there is a seven day free trial. So be sure to take advantage of that. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Mayo signing off and I want to change your life.